BMI hires Goldman Sachs to explore new ways to make boatloads of money on songs. What are we looking at here? Uh, we're looking at professional money makers uh -oh. um, coming into the music industry. As we've been seeing, this is not new. All right, this is not a new headline. This is an expansion of headlines. Now, Goldman Sachs is much bigger than like you know a hypnosis song fund or something right. like that. Uh, not to just count what they've been doing. Uh, I think they've been making really smart moves over at Hypnosis and some of the other funds we've talked about on the show in the past. But you know, Goldman Sachs is people who just kind of get it when it comes to money. Mm -hmm. Let me say that. You know, maybe their work life balance and all that. They don't. They don't get some of those aspects. But when it comes to making money, mm -hmm. uh, they know what they're doing. Right. Right. Uh, so I. They are not going to spend these millions and billions of dollars and not have this go to Web3. I am telling you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people have not been listening <laughs> to, to me on this. I'm telling you, they are not going to lose their, like, there's a different thought about wealth when it comes from, like, a, you know, oh, Kanye got a billion dollars now or two billion. Not to discount anything Kanye did. Right. When Kanye gets that versus somebody at Goldman Sachs mm -hmm. getting that. Right. I am going to imagine very safely that their wealth does not fluctuate <laughs> as much as Kanye does mm -hmm. or many other, um, you know, celebrities with high net worth and all that stuff. Why? Because these are professional money makers. Right. Mm -hmm. um, they, you know, when everybody else is emotional, freaking out, like they've already calculated their move. Yeah. Uh, they know what they're going to do. They have access to the best deals mm -hmm. and, you know, they're getting uh, networks of pitches for the best tech and mm -hmm. all this stuff. Like they know what's coming. Yeah. Uh, they're not right 100% of the time on it. So they know how to uh, diversify their portfolios and, you know, all this stuff. Um, so at the end of the day, people go to them or, a lot of people already have their money with mm. the, the biggest funds in the world because subconsciously or consciously, uh, people believe that they are better at growing your money than you are. Mm. That's the only reason you put your money in a fund. Mm -hmm. uh, so these, you know, BMI is going to Goldman Sachs because they're they're asking, you guys are better at growing this, this money than we are, this industry, than we would be. So... Mm -hmm. We're going to ask you, hey, what would you do in these situations? Um, because BMI is going to have some money, too, mm -hmm. uh, so that they can be a step ahead. Um, I'm probably only talking to a very small percentage of individual artists right now mm -hmm. uh, because most artists will not take these moves. They just don't. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've, we have enough people on our email list that visit our website. Like I have enough data on this that I can say this confidently. It's not... Not like I'm trying to discourage anybody. I right. just know by the numbers. I hope that whoever's listening to this will take a different action. But if you have not made any NFT collection, not doing anything with social tokens, not doing anything with crypto, not doing anything with Web3, um, you're already behind. Yeah, There's already people spending billions of dollars to acquire catalogs. They're not going to do that just based off of the model that Spotify is paying them a royalty. Right. Um, like that would be too long to get their money back. And when you raise money, the people who gave the money to you want their money back mm -hmm. at a faster pace than the next 20 years. Mm -hmm. like they typically like it in like, you know, the five year ish, three to five years. If it comes back sooner, that's great. But right. you know, three to five year range, um, they they want to start to see some stuff happening. Uh some some big stuff. Right. Um so that is is what I gather uh, from this. Um, I really do encourage artists uh, and musicians to and bands and in, independent record labels, managers, like all that. Um, do whatever you have to do to to research this stuff. Um, research Web three. Mm -hmm. It is not the friendliest. Uh, some aspects of it, like you know, creating your digital wallet and you're trying to buy this NFT with MetaMask and um, you know, or Coinbase wallet or you know, your your hardware wallet. Uh, but 
And I promise you, it it will pay off within yeah. the next five years. Mm-hmm. Um, like you investing in that is going to pay off, mm-hmm. even if stuff is you know everything's taking a dip across markets now, especially with war. Um, but if you would just hold on, you don't have to be a pro trader. Um, obviously, we're not giving financial advice, but if you would just hold on, yeah, um, and you know, build, I don't know, ten percent of your business mm-hmm. towards this Web three stuff. Take take ten percent of a chance, mm-hmm. right? So if it if it does crash and burn, which mm-hmm. I don't think it will, um, hey, I only lost ten percent of this mm-hmm. over here. That's good. So. You got my 90%, and then if you see more of it working, mm-hmm. you know, you can maybe take a little bit of the cash out. Mm-hmm. Um, just cover your initial investment and then mm-hmm. leave the rest of it in. That's good. So that is the big picture of what I gather from, you know, BMI hiring Golden Sachs to consult yeah. on new projects. 